There is no such thing as a left-wing woman. Hmm. There's no such thing as a left-wing woman. Doesn't exist. Absolutely doesn't exist. Let me explain why. These are the kind of things I think about at the end of a night out. <clears throat> so, if we define left versus right, historically, traditionally, whatever we call it, left, far left would be essentially a, le a great leveling. We will have to be the same, right? That's essentially what it is. You know, we have to give resources to the lowest, right? the less fortunate and so on, the less talented. That's where the resources should go. And where do we take those resources from? The productive, the talented, the strong, etc. Strong in the service of the weak. That's essentially what leftism is, or aspires to be. As I say, a leveling. I give everyone a chance. <clears throat> broadly speaking, it may not be a very flattering portrayal, but that's broadly what it is. The right, let's say far right, would be essentially the rule of the strong. The rule of the strong, the talented, the forceful. That's kind of what it is. There's, there's hierarchy, right? You might go up the hierarchy. There's obviously all the different permutations of it, but there is a hierarchy. You might go up it, or you might go to the bottom. You might be at the bottom, you might be in the middle, you might be at the top. People often feel uncomfortable with the idea of hierarchy because it means there can be someone who's better than you and someone, and you can be worse than somebody else in the system. <coughs> there are other things as well. You've got, well, you've got other things like nationalism and stuff, like all these different things mixed in, right? With rightism. One is basically about hierarchy, the other is about flattening. One is about, it's openly elitist. The other is still elitist, but it's in, in a subterranean, subversive way. Right. You still have like communist elites. They still exist. But the idea is they do. Anyway. Um, and I was thinking about this. They say that women have moved more to the left and so on. Yeah, in terms of maybe voting, which is very superstitial, superficial. In my opinion, actually, most people... I actually think no one under the age of 35 should even be able to vote. I think of myself at 21. Fuck, I knew. Literally nothing. You know, I, I thought I was quite informed. I read a lot. That's my honest opinion. Anyway... But yeah, people can think they're this, they can think they're that. Women, young women can think they're left-wing. But what's more important, where you vote, or who you give your body to, where you put your DNA, whose scion you will carry into the next generation, yeah, what man you will literally put your life on the line for to let him inseminate you and literally risk your life to create the next generation. Are women egalitarian about that? <laughs> they give everybody an opportunity? <laughs> huh? They want the average guy? They want to use their womb to help the guy who's at the bottom of the pecking order? The overweight, horrifically misbegotten guy with no prospects? Do they want to help him? Hmm? That's what left-wing sex would look like. What do they want? Women are actually far right. <laughs> they want the ultimate <coughs> elite, one way or another. Might be, you know, like very good looking or powerful or attractive, charismatic, or just confident. Huh. Think about it. They're going for the top, man. They know there's a hierarchy. Well, for them, there's a hierarchy. Fortunately for us as guys, there are actually a lot of different hierarchies. You could you could be you could be quite ho quite high up. Like in in one woman's eyes, you could be really high up. 
in what she values. And in another, that could just be irrelevant, right? You know, if you're a really rich guy, some women will find that amazing. Some women actually won't care, genuinely won't care. If you're a really good dancer, some women will find that amazing. Other women won't care. If you're really charismatic, some women will, women will love that. Actually, some women won't care that much. That's, that's something actually people don't sometimes realize. Some women are actually not into charismatic guys. I've had conversations. There's so many, so many types, right? But they always have a hierarchical value system. So all women are right wing <laughs> DNA supremacists. Because if they weren't, they would just like, you know, go give a hand job to the bin man just because he's a good guy. Yeah. That would be egalitarian.